If you're passionate about candle making and have been crafting at home, you might be wondering, how do I turn this hobby into a successful business? Well, today I am breaking down everything you need to set yourself up for success before launching your candle business. And this may surprise you, but it has nothing to do with making candles. Hey everybody, it's Carrie, the owner and creator of Couture Home and Body. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. This is the first video in a series dedicated to helping you take your passion for candle making to the next level by creating and launching your own candle business. Before we get into it, I'd like to share a little bit about my background and why I'm so passionate about this topic. So I have over 20 years of experience as a producer in film, television, and video game production and development. So I've spent a significant part of my career in brand management, which is crafting and implementing cohesive stories. This experience has shown me the importance of building a strong brand identity and telling a compelling story. I took that experience Experience and channeled it into launching my own candle company. So I began making candles back in 2019 as a hobby. And then after refining my skills as a candle maker, I officially launched my business in May of 2022. So since then, I've learned a great deal about transforming a passion into a successful business. And I'm excited to share those insights with you today. All right, so get ready to take some notes and let's get started on your journey to launching a successful candle business. All right, this is probably one one of the top two important topics that we're gonna to cover today. So I'm starting with it first. So in starting a candle business, one of the first decisions you need to make is whether you wanna position your brand as a quality brand or a value brand. And this decision will influence everything from your pricing strategy and target audience to your marketing efforts and your overall business model. All right, let's get into what a quality brand is. A quality brand focuses on high-end premium products. And this means using the finest ingredients, sophisticated packaging, and often a higher price point. Customers who buy from quality brands are looking for an exceptional experience. They're willing to pay more for superior quality and luxury. So as a quality brand, your focus is going to be on craftsmanship, attention to detail, and creating a sense of exclusivity. All right, let's get into quality brand examples. Diptyque, they are known for their luxurious candles. They offer a high-end experience with carefully crafted scents, elegant packaging. I mean, their candles are priced at a premium, and that is a reflection of their commitment to quality and exclusivity. All right, Joe Malone is another premium brand. They focus on sophisticated fragrances and beautiful presentation. Their candles are marketed as a luxury item, appealing to customers who appreciate fine living, finer things. All right, and the last quality brand example is Byredo Candles. They are known for their unique, complex scents and their chic, minimalist packaging. They cater to a very niche market that values artistry and high quality ingredients. All right, value brand, let's get into it. On the other hand, a value brand emphasizes affordability and accessibility. This doesn't mean compromising on quality. It's finding a balance between cost and quality that appeals to a broader audience. So value brands are all about providing great products at competitive prices. Customers who buy from value brands are looking for good value for their money. They want reliable, high quality candles without breaking the bank. Value brand examples, Bath & Body Works. They offer a huge range of affordable candles with vibrant scents and attractive packaging, and their focus is on providing great value for the price, making their products accessible to a broader audience. All right, another value brand example is Yankee Candle. They are a very popular brand known for their extensive variety of fragrances, like they have a gazillion fragrances, and they're reasonably priced products. So they emphasize accessibility and a strong, consistent scent throw. All right, and the last value brand comparison is Target's Threshold brand. So Threshold by Target, they offer stylish, affordable candles that cater to everyday consumers looking for a good quality at a fair price. Their candles are designed to be accessible without sacrificing quality. Value brands sell more at a lower price and quality brands sell less at a higher price. They also have the ability to appeal to a general audience because of their economy of scale. So I'll give you an example. So in production, they are able to manufacture many candles all at once, which keeps their costs low. Also the fact that these value brands are working off of thinner margins, it makes up for their profit by just the sheer number of volume. 
So deciding between a quality brand and a value brand is crucial because it shapes your entire business strategy. It affects your product development, your pricing, your marketing, and even the type of customers you attract. By clearly defining your brand identity from the start, you can create a cohesive and consistent message that resonates with your target audience. And we're gonna get into target audience in a second here, but whether you choose to be a quality brand or a value brand, the key is to stay true to your brand identity and consistently deliver on your brand promise. All right, before I wrap up this part of the video, there's an important point that I want to emphasize, and that is, you can't try to be both a quality brand and a value brand and expect to do them both well. This is a key mistake that many businesses make and it's one of the main reasons they become stuck and stagnant. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> because I did it. I tried to ride the line in the first year and it simply did not work. Trying to appeal to both ends of the market can dilute your brand message and it confuses your customers. So instead, you need to choose a clear path and commit to it fully. Remember, being a value brand doesn't mean you don't have quality. It's all about how you position your pricing and your branding. This is the other most important item that we're gonna cover to set you up for success. And that is a client avatar. A client avatar is also known as a buyer persona and is a detailed profile that represents your ideal customer. It's a fictional character that embodies the traits, the behaviors, and the goals of your target audience. Creating a client avatar helps you understand who you're marketing to, making it easier to tailor your products, your messaging, and your marketing strategies to meet their needs. Understanding your client avatar is crucial to success because it allows you to do several things. When you know who your ideal customer Customer is you can create marketing messages that speak directly to them so this makes your marketing efforts more effective and it increases the chances of converting prospects into customers knowing your client avatar helps you develop products that meet their specific needs and preferences this ensures that you're offering solutions that resonate with your target audience understanding your client avatar also allows you to create a better customer experience from the moment they discover your brand to the point of purchase and beyond Bond. and this will lead to higher customer satisfaction and loyalty. To create a client avatar, you'll need to gather information about who your ideal customer is. So here are some key elements to consider. Let's get into it. All right, you're gonna to wanna to know how old is your customer or the age range, their gender, their income level, their education, their marital status, their occupation. What are their interests, their hobbies, their values, their lifestyle, their personality traits? And what are their main goals and challenges related to your product? What solutions are they looking for? How are you solving their problems? How do they make purchasing decisions? So what factors influence their buying choices? Where do they shop? All right, let's create a simple example of a client avatar for a candle business. And we're gonna call this candle business Bloom and Wick. We'll use this throughout the series just to use as an example, and this is what we're gonna build everything off of. So our fake candle business is Bloom and Wick. All right, this is Emily, she's 35, she's a female. She's a marketing manager and she makes $70,000 per year. She's married with two children. And her interests include home decor, wellness, and aromatherapy. She values sustainability, quality, and supporting small businesses. Her goals are that she wants to create a cozy and relaxing home environment. Some challenges she faces is finding high quality, eco-friendly candles that fit within her budget. She likes to shop online. She reads loads of product reviews and she prefers brands with a strong social media presence. So by creating a detailed client avatar like Emily, you can tailor your marketing efforts to speak directly to her needs and preferences, ultimately making your business more successful. All right, now that we've covered what a client avatar is and why it's important, let's get into how to create a unique brand identity for your candle business. Your brand identity is the essence of your business. It's how you want your customers to perceive you. So this includes your company's values, your core pillars, visual elements, and your 
your overall personality. A strong brand identity helps you stand out in a crowded market, creates a loyal customer base, and it conveys your business values and mission clearly. It ensures that every interaction a customer has with your brand is consistent and memorable. So start by identifying the core values that guide your business. And these values should reflect what your company stands for and what you believe in. So I want you to ask yourself, what principles are most important to your business? How do you want to impact your customers and the community? And what do you want to be known for? So I'll give you some examples. Do you want to be known for sustainability, quality craftsmanship, innovation, customer satisfaction, community involvement. All right, now let's get into core pillars. They are the foundational aspects of your brand that support your values and differentiate you from the competition. So these should be unique and specific to your business. Let's get into some examples. For eco-friendly practices, you wanna emphasize using sustainable materials and packaging. For handcrafted quality, you wanna emphasize each candle is handmade with meticulous attention to detail. Unique scents, so you're offering exclusive, nature-inspired fragrances. Affordable luxury, providing high-quality products at a reasonable price. And if it's customer-centric, prioritizing excellent customer service and satisfaction. Your visual identity includes your logo, your color palette, your typography, and your overall design aesthetic. And these elements should align with your brand values and appeal to your target audience. Consider how you want your brand to look and feel. Is it modern and sleek? Is it rustic and natural? Is it luxurious and elegant? Your brand voice is the tone and style in which you communicate with your audience. It should be consistent across all platforms from your website and social media to every customer service interaction. Your brand voice should reflect your brand's personality and resonate with your client avatar. Once you've defined your values, core pillars, visual identity and brand voice, make sure they are consistently applied across all aspects of your business. This cohesive approach will help you build a strong and recognizable brand. Creating a distinct brand identity is key for establishing your presence in the market and connecting with your customers. It sets the tone for your business and influences how people perceive and interact with your brand. Now that we've covered the essentials of defining your brand identity, stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna show you how to design from sperm to germ, your brand logo, choosing a color palette, and shaping an entire visual identity that authentically embodies your candle business. So until the next one, you guys, I'll see you then. Bye.